Welcome to another Race Crews Track Time presentation. This is a huge setup, over 50 feet of track. I have to stand way back to show you it. I'm using various parts. The 2009 starter set right there. It's been re-released under different names. I use that part from the starter set. I'm also using this part here so I can drop the cars into the setup. This loop right here, this is the Track Builder Quick Kick Loop. It came from this set, or as you can see right there, it's available individually. It's also in the Total Turbo Takeover set. And here's that two-directional motorized booster. Comes with a couple of those quick kick loops. There's a regular loop. So here we go. Over 50 feet of track. We're going to see which cars can make it all the way from the beginning of the drop to the finish right here. Here we go with Fast Fish. Great track car. Let's see how he does on this setup. I have to remember to set the quick kick loop. Go! Oh, wipe out! Let's go get Fast Fish. Now I get another try. Last chance, Fast Fish. You can do it. Wipe out. Here we have an awesome addition to the Hot Wheels lineup, the 71 Dotson Bluebird S10 Wagon. 510 Wagon, sorry. I think he might meet the same fate as Fast Fish since he has a metal body. Ow! He hit me! Do it again! Uh-oh. Last try! Oh, he flew off the track. Nice try. We're going to park you right here because I don't want you to get confused with the cars that actually finished the race. Here we go. Torque Twister. Great track car. Another car with the metal body having problems with that sharp U-turn of the total turbo takeover. Can you do it? Oh, the way! Our first successful challenger. Up next, 1999 Ford Mustang. Oh, it wipes out in that U turn. He'll get a second chance just like everybody else. He went pretty far. Fell out of the U-turn. That's as far as he gets for his mark. Oh, right next to Fast Fish. You're so fast. Oh, he has to go all the way. Low profile, excellent track car. Let's see. He's on his way. Yes.
There's two. Torque twister and you're so fast. Now when I do my track time presentations, I don't always do cars that I know are going to work good on the track. It's a, it's a review to see which cars are going to work on the track. Here we have Off Duty. I did a, a video with downhill racing and he was very good with downhill racing. Let's see, let's see how he does in the boosters, loops and curves. Hello. Set, go. Off the track. We call him off duty. We'll have to call him off track. Oh, that's somebody else. Never mind. Here we go. Porsche. 934 Turbo RSR. Another metal body. Might have trouble with that sharp U-turn. Oh! Forget the U-turn. He has a wide body and he got stuck in the downhill drop. So I'll just give him a gravity. I'll just push him right there from the track. Ready, set, go. Done. We'll give him another shot, but we know, we know it's not going to be good. Hello, don't forget to reset. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, go. Oh well. I gave you, I let you go halfway and you still couldn't finish. Howling heat. Yeah, now we're gonna get mean. So go. Wow, he's fast. I'm surprised he stays on the track. He's so fast. One shot, and he says, "Fellas, that's how you do it." Here's another low-profile car. We have Fast Feline. Let's go ahead and give him some track time. Two in a row. Wow, he was just as fast as Growler, Grizzler. I gotta look, I always get him mixed up. Howlin' Heat. Four models made it so far. Stick around, let's see how many more can make it. Bone Shaker. You gonna be able to do as good as Fast Feline? I don't know, open wheels, but I see him in track sets, so okay. Let's give him some track time and see how well he does. Oh, he was fast. Hello, hello, coming in. Second chance. Oh, his metal body. He can't hang on to those curves. Ryura LX. Just like the others, flat, low profile. But I think he has a metal body. Let's see if he does as good as fast feline. Kind of shaped the same. Reset. Go. Oh. That U turn over there. That U turn giving them everybody real problems. Go. Well, he made it through the hardest part. And he makes it all the way. Five cars made it so far. Are you sure? Papa Wheelie? He's kind of tall. He might get he might get stuck up here. I have the I have the protector in here. But if you see over there, I left the protector out. So I don't know if it'll fit. Open wheels. I don't even know if he'll work in the booster. Reset. 
Six, go! Oh, he's too tall! He, he got stuck in the bridge over there of the two-directional booster. I didn't expect that, so I know he's not going to fit through there. He's not going to fit. He didn't fit through there. He's not going to fit coming back. He's going to come around. I'm just going to go let him go this way. He'll probably get. He'll probably hit this too. But let's see how he works in the booster. A little more of a push, please. <laughs> nope. What do you think, Howlin? He can you get him off the track? Thank you. And he finishes again. Here we go. Four cars left. We're going to do the treasure hunt. The treasure hunt cloak and dagger. We know it's the treasure hunt because it has the circle flame logo for 2014. The cars in 2014 that have a circle flame logo. Those are the treasure hunts. Now, if you have a car that's uh, like 2012 or older, even if they have the circle flame logo, it, it doesn't mean they're a treasure hunt. Only the last couple years that logo. And cloak and dagger, you can actually pop off the body. You see there's a tab right here. So if you flare open your car, I believe that's how it pops open. Flare it open. It's being stubborn. See now I got it out of the notch. There you go. There's the inside. And there's his cloak. We'll try them once with the cloak, and then we'll try them uh, without. <laughs> oh! One more time. We well, didn't do the loop. Let's see how he does the booster over there. I'm just going to give him a push. Not so much. Let's take off his cloak and see how he does. Without his, uh, without his shield. Reset. Go! <laughs> Set. Oh, he's kind of skinny without his shield. I don't even think the booster might not even grab him. Oh, it did a little bit. Oh! Go! Go! Oh, my! <laughs> Not a bad showing. You're so fast. Can you help get the uh, cloak and dagger off the track, please? Nice job, but you got stuck. Three cars left. Here we have the 2015 Ford Mustang GT. I think my batteries ran out in my video racer, so... We're going to have to do the rest of the retrieving of the cars by hand. Oh, metal body. The metal body cars are having a big trouble with that sharp U-turn. He has a metal body. He made it. Metal body, metal body, metal body. Hmm. Maybe. cars made it here we go Mazda RX-7 the yellow version reset go a little slow but maybe slow is enough to maybe not you get a second chance come back reset go Reset, go again. And he makes it all the way. One, two, three, four, five, seven cars made it all the way. So even though it seemed like a lot of cars weren't making it, actually, so far, seven cars have made it. And if this guy makes it, that means eight. That means half of the cars made it all the way around the track. Here we have Street Shaker, and you might recognize this model also being called Hammerhead, but this time they call them Street Shaker. Come on, Street Shaker, make it so that we have a 50-50 success rate on the track. Oh, nobody 
crashed there before. Here you go, last chance. Still, 7 out of 16 is pretty good, almost half. But let's see if we can get half. Oh, oh, so close. Hey, thanks a lot for watching my track time presentation. Bye-bye.